Hello friends, hope you are fine. In a circuit, the current flowing through a conductor depends upon its resistance and the potential difference across its ends. In various electrical gadgets, we often use resistors in various combinations. We can combine the resistors in series, in parallel or a combination of both. In this session, we will study the resistors in series and resistors in parallel. How to combine resistors in series and resistors in parallel? The figure shows an electrical circuit in which three resistors having resistance R1, R2 and R3 are respectively are joined end to end. Here the resistors are said to be connected in series. Figure shows a combination of resistors in which three resistors are connected together between the points X and Y. Here, the resistors are said to be connected in parallel. Let's discuss the resistors in series. Let us consider the arrangement of three resistors joined in series with a combination of cells or battery. Now, what happened to the value of current when a number of resistors are connected in series in a circuit? What would be their equivalent resistance? Let us try to understand these with the help of an activity. Join three resistors of different values in series. Connect them with a battery, a meter and a plug -in. You may use the resistors of value like 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm etc. and a battery of 6 volt for performing this activity. Plug the key. Not the emitter reading. Now, Change the position of ammeter to anywhere in between the resistors, not the ammeter reading in each time. You will observe that the value of the current in the ammeter is same, independent of its position in the electrical circuit. This means that in a series combination of resistors, the current is the same in every part of the circuit or the same current flows through each resistor. In the circuit, insert a voltmeter across the endpoints X and Y of the series combination of three resistors. Plug the key in the circuit and note the voltmeter reading. It gives the potential difference across the series combination of the resistors. Let it be V. Now measure the potential difference across two terminals of the battery. Compare these two values. Take out the plucky and disconnect the voltmeter. Now insert the voltmeter across the ends of X and P of the first resistor. Plug the key and measure the potential difference across the first resistor. Let it be V1. Similarly, measure the potential difference across the other two resistors separately. Let these be let these values be V1 and V3 respectively. You will observe that the potential difference V is equal to the sum of potential differences V1, V2 and V3. That is the total potential difference across the combination of resistors in series is equal to the sum of potential difference across the individual resistors. That is we can say that V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. In the electrical circuit, let I be the current flowing through the circuit. The current through each resistor is also I. It is possible to replace three resistors joined in series by an equivalent single resistor of resistance R, such that the potential difference V across it and the current I flow through the circuit remains the same. Now applying the Ohm's law to the entire circuit, we have V is equal to IR. On applying Ohm's law to the three resistors separately, we further have V1 is equal to IR1, V2 is equal to IR2, V3 is equal to IR3. Then we can say that IR is equal to IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3 or R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. We can conclude that 
when several resistors are joined in series the resistance of the combination r s is equal to the sum of the individual resistance r1 r2 r3 and is greater than the individual resistance resistors in parallel let's consider resistors in parallel let us consider the arrangement of three resistors joined in parallel with a combination of cells or battery now what happens to the value of the current when a number of resistors are connected in parallel in the circuit what would be their equivalent resistor let us try to understand this with the help of an activity make a parallel combination of three resistors having resistance r1 r2 and r3 respectively between the points x and y in the circuit connect a battery and a plucky and ammeter also connect a voltmeter in parallel with the combination of the resistors plug the key and note the ammeter reading let the current be i also take the voltmeter reading it gives the potential difference v across the combination the potential difference across each resistor is v this can be checked by connecting voltmeter across each individual resistor take out the plug from the key remove the ammeter and voltmeter from the circuit insert the ammeter in series with the resistor r1 as shown note the ammeter reading let it be i1 similarly measure the currents through resistor r2 and r3 let these be i2 and r3 respectively it is observed that the total current i is equal to the sum of separate currents through the each branch of the combination that is i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 rpb the equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of resistors by applying ohm's law to the parallel combination of resistors we have i is equal to v by rp on applying ohm's law to each resistor we have i1 is equal to v by r1 i2 is equal to v by r2 and i3 is equal to v by r3 or v by rp is equal to v by r1 plus v by r2 plus v by r3 or 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 thus we may conclude that the reciprocals of the equivalent resistance of a group of resistors joined in parallel is equal to the sum of reciprocals of individual resistances